What's up, boys and girls? Happy Tuesday. I'm excited about this. I, I, the more and more that I dive into this stuff about starting early, the more excited I get and the more I want to kick myself in the rear end. You really should start early. But just because you're not early, you're late, or you're an old man like me, doesn't mean you shouldn't start immediately. He used to have Yeah, right. I, uh, I Mortgage used to, business, yeah. we pull it out sometimes. That's what happens. <laughs> Guys, this is a great story. I'm going to kind of preface this by saying I've recently been doing a lot of thinking and research into time and to the compounding effect of starting early, whether it's investing, whether it's buying real estate, whatever. And I just had this whole epiphany the other day, let me make sure I turn that off, that the best thing for you to do is to start investing in real estate as early as you possibly can. I want to give you a scenario that I thought was really cool, starting with, let's just say, the age of 25. My best friend bought his house somewhere in and around the age of 25. And coincidentally, his house was somewhere right around $200,000, okay? About 10 years ago, he bought another house. That house was worth a little more over four, or worth a little more than four hundred thousand dollars. But here's the idea: think about this. If you start off buying a house at twenty-five, but let's just say it's a starter home, maybe it's even a condo, but let's just say it's a simple single-family house, two hundred thousand dollars, and you start paying it off instead of paying rent. What's the first thing that you gain by buying a house? Equity. Guys, by paying Equity. down the loan, you now own more of this house. But not only that, over the course of time, the value of the house goes up. So guess what happens? You go to sell this house to buy your next house, you don't need as much money. Not only that, here's the thing. By you paying that mortgage every month, you don't realize it's a forced savings. It's better than a savings account Heck because good. you're paying it down and it's going up. Right now, I get all We hope. I get all the reports, and this isn't a normal. I think the normal year, it's like somewhere between 3 and 4% increased value of real estate or, or residential houses. This year, it was over 10%, at least in my township where Way I live. Way more than that. It was over 10%, and I've seen some that were 13 14%. Think about that, guys. As you're paying down the debt on this $200,000, let us say you go to buy another $400,000 house. No, not you, a four, well, a double. I let's think. say you double it from 200 to 400. You've already paid off at least half. This is 20 years. 20 years of paying into this. The payment's gone down. The value's gone up. You now have this much house to buy this much house with. Because you don't have to use that okay, much money. We're going to make up numbers. It. Let's say you're just making. Let's say after 20 years you paid on a $200,000 house. Let's say you only paid. 80,000 down because in the beginning most of it goes toward interest. We know that. So let's say you still owe 120 on that house. But that house is worth how much now? 250, 300, right. depending 300, on 300, whatever. It's 20 years later. Right. And you're buying a 400. So technically 20 years you could buy a 6 or an $800,000 house and be paying the same. The funny story is I was researching the house I grew up in. My grandmother bought that house. She bought it 50 years ago. She paid thirteen thousand dollars for it. Just check the value of it today. Four hundred. Thirteen thousand. Fifty years ago, is now worth four hundred thousand. That's thirty times the value. I already used the calculator. I'm not that smart. Think about that. So then, as you go older, you know, here you got your kids. Okay. Now you buy a bigger house, or maybe you don't even buy a bigger house. Instead of buying the bigger house, you have this house. Maybe you sell this house. You buy a house here and a house down the shore, or a house down in Florida, or in the mountains, wherever it is. The idea, guys, is the sooner you start pumping money into this system, the more this money and the system with compounding time starts to help you to better diversify your funds and your money. And it makes it that much easier, that much more affordable, and you're used to doing it. How's this? I'm going to use me as a for instance. 1993, <laughs> I bought a single, my wife and I. We paid two seventy five dollars for it. I live not far from here. In 2003, which is what, 10 years, we sold it for 460. True. 2003, and I bought something for 660. The house for 660, I still live in. It's worth double that. And it's beautiful. So the idea, guys, is this. It's not about being complicated. And again, maybe you're starting here at 45. I didn't buy my first house till I was 40. Kicking myself. And if he didn't, and the only reason he bought it is because we made him buy it. 
I listen. I, I was a single guy at the time. Didn't have any kids. You still are. You're engaged, but you still are. Yeah, not until next year. <laughs> right. But I, I was a single guy. I paid eleven hundred dollars a month in rent. For I had a two a bedroom pool. apartment. I had a gym. I had a maintenance man. I didn't have to worry about anything. And there was a lot to be said for that. But you know what the problem with that is? I didn't save a lot of that money. I traveled. I pissed that money How away. How much is your mortgage? I now? went out. Twenty six hundred. Okay. And what'd you buy your house for? Three sixty. It's worth what? And you bought it two years ago, my, four fifty. But his I next bought, door neighbor just sold for how I much? I bought my house for three sixty two years ago. At my next door neighbor house, which right is a three door. bedroom, two bath house, mine's a four bedroom, two bath house, just sold for four fifty. So from three sixty three to four fifty, the house next door, the house behind it sold for four eighty, and the house around the corner sold for four sixty three. So in two years, ninety thousand dollars. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Even if it was fifty thousand to sixty thousand dollars in two years, that's a lot of money. That's not a normal year of growth. But again, how do you get that wave of growth? You gotta start. The best secret and, and, and these numbers mean nothing. You yeah. can start with a hundred thousand dollar house. It Correct. really doesn't matter. You start with what you can afford. You buy your first house because even if you buy it, like he said, the best time to buy it is when you're single. Because then when you find somebody and you get engaged whether it's a him or a her, I don't care. And and you get if you're going to get married, now you have equity. You build up and whatever. I know most women they never want to live in your bachelor pad. You're going to say, well, can we buy a bigger house? And you can buy and you can afford that now. You have the down payment for it because you have the equity in your house. So the whole point of this, guys, and and I don't even know why this came to me. The number one secret in real estate: start. The number one secret in investing. Start. Start. Do something. Because I just had this conversation yesterday, this weekend with my nephew. My nephew is 16 years old. He makes between a thousand and fifteen hundred dollars a week. A month. And I a mean month. a month. And he doesn't know what to do with his money. I said, start investing. He goes, okay. He wants to put at 16 years of age, he wants to put two hundred and fifty dollars a month away. Can you imagine if we did that? <laughs> God, I wish I wish I would have listened to my This would have been like Monopoly. Money. We would have owned multiple right, of these right. houses. But the whole point is to start. And when he saw at 16 years of age last night the value of investing early and how that money grows for you without you having to do additional work, you just keep you know putting a little bit of money aside. Imagine 20, 30 years from now. Compound you, interest. The compounding effect is unbelievable. So whether you're investing, I always I love real estate because you know the value of it's going to go up, especially in markets like this. It's just the idea of starting, guys. Get yourself into that habit. Stop paying, as Neil would say, somebody else's mortgage, and start paying your own mortgage so that you can now start to have this growth for yourself. That was awesome. I love that. I love stuff like that. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Any questions, let us know. We'll catch you in the next video.